With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, welcome to doubtnet. In this question given, a block start moving up an inclined plane of inclination 30 degree with an initial velocity v0. If it comes back to the initial position with velocity v0 by 2. The value of the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the inclined plane is close to i by 1000. Okay. Then nearest integer i is equal to. Okay. Then firstly, draw the figure of this question. Okay. Let us consider this is a plane. Okay. And another plane which is inclined at a 30 degree to the plane. Okay. Then this is. This is the 30 degree. Okay. Then let us consider this is a length. Let us consider this is a point A and this is B and this is C. Okay. Then length AB is let us consider this is equal to S. Okay. S is the distance between A and B. Okay. Then this is a s sin theta s sin 30 degree and this is equal to s cos 30 degree okay this is perpendicular and in this question given a block start moving up in an inclined plane okay let us consider this is a block this is a block and moving inclined moving up with the inclined plane okay and initial velocity is v naught initial velocity is v naught when it this block is reach, reach at this position okay then velocity is zero okay then this velocity is zero and when it comes this position okay then velocity is v naught by two then in this whole system no any external force no any external force okay then applying work energy theorem okay then total energy change in energy and this is equal to total work done total work done by block okay change in energy when this block is this block is moves in this direction after reaching this position this block is comes at this position then total change in potential energy is equal to zero okay and then only change in kinetic energy when we move upward okay when we move upward upward okay then kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 into m into v naught square is equal to work done total work done by the block and work done on the block due to weight and weight then this is equal to f dot s and the force is mg and displacement is equal to total displacement is this length okay when the block is moves this position to this position then this length is total displacement okay then work done by the weight and this is equal to mg into sin 30 s sin 30 and s sin 30 30 degree okay plus and work done by the frictional force okay kinetic frictional force and this is equal to frictional force since we know that the frictional force fs is equal to mu into n Okay, mu into n and the value of the normal force is equal to mg and this is equal to mu mg mu mg into and total distance is this length. Okay, then s cos 30 s cos 30 degree. Okay, and this is equal to 1 by 2 into m into v naught square and this is equal to mg s mgs sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 plus and this is equal to mu mg into s and cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2 
okay this is the first equation when log move downward move downward okay then this is equal to 1 by 2 into m into and velocity is at this position and this is equal to v naught by 2 v naught by 2 to the whole square and this is equal to mg into s sin theta because displacement is s sin 30 degree s sin 30 degree plus okay and in this case frictional force and displacement because we know that the work done is equal to work done is equal to f dot s okay and this is equal to w is equal to f into s into cos theta okay and force angle between force and displacement is 180 degree in this case when block is moved downward then we can write the force is mu mg into displacement is s cos 150 degree okay then this is equal to 1 by 2 into m into v naught square by 4 and this is equal to mg into s by 2 and plus mu mg mu mg into s and cos 150 is equal to sin 60 negative okay and this is equal to minus of minus of root 3 by 2 and this can be written as 1 by 2 into m into v naught square by 4 is equal to md mgs by 2 minus mu mgs mu mgs and root 3 by 2 okay let us consider this is the equation number second subtract equation 1 equation 1 minus equation 2 okay then we can write 1 by 2 1 by 2 into m v naught square minus 1 by 8 into m naught m into v naught whole square okay and m g s by 2 minus m g s by 2 and this is equal to 0 and this is equal to root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 mu m g s plus root 3 by 2 mu m g s and this is equal to 8 4 mv square minus mv square and this is equal to 2 into root 3 by 2 mu mg s okay and this is equal to 3 m v naught square v naught v naught upon 8 and this is equal to root 3 mu mg s m and m is cancel then the value of v naught is equal to 8 by root 3 mu g s okay this is the value of v naught and put the value of v naught in equation 1 then we get the value of mu is equal to mu is equal to the value of v naught in equation 1 then we get the value of mu is equal to root 3 by 5 okay and root 3 by 5 1.732 upon 5 okay then the value of mu can be written as 346.41 upon 1000 okay this is the value of mu and in this question given this is equal to i by 1000 okay from here we can say the value of i is equal to 346.41 okay this is the value of i and this is the right answer of this question okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today